Okay, Assalamualaikum. Good day. Alright, okay. If you recognize this is your uh, homework question, but then I decide to discuss this question uh, online because I don't want to uh, discuss this one inside class since we don't have enough time. So, okay, let's start. Given the following parametric equation, y equals uh, x equals to cos t and y equals to cosine squared t plus 4 cosine t minus 5. By eliminating parameter t, find the rectangular equation and sketch the respective parametric curve. Then indicates its orientation. Okay, so you have to find three things. First, rectangular equation. Okay, second one, parametric curve. And the last one, orientation. Okay, so we start now. First thing, find the rectangular equation. If you can see, you have cosine t here. And then we have cosine squared t here and cos squared t here. Obviously, what you have to do is just substitute the x equals to cosine t into the y. So we have y equals to x squared plus 4x minus 5. Okay, obviously this is quadratic curve. But then the character is not, the, 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 the bottom is not at the origin. So you have to check. Okay, here... Um, we have to use a lot of uh, basic skill of factorization as well as completing the square. Okay, first thing may maybe factorization. Factorization. Okay, let's say uh, we want to find the x-intercept. So, let y equals to 0. So, obviously, we will have x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals to 0. Obviously, we can uh, factorize this one, become x equals to 0. Okay, how to do it? Minus 5, meaning the combination may be 1 and 5. And then we have uh, plus 4 there. So, suppose here is 5 and this is minus. So, when we simplify this one, obviously, x equals to 1 and x equals to minus 5. So, this is the x-intercept. When y equals to 0. Okay, and then we want to check the bottom. So, we have to use completing the square. I call it CTS. Okay, y equals to x squared plus 4x minus 5. Okay, completing square. You have to recall what is this. Okay, I just show you the answer. And then we have to balance back. If you expand this one, you will have x squared plus 4x plus 4. But we have minus 5 over here, so suppose I add minus 9. Okay, done. We're done with this. This is done. This is done. Okay, but what is the meaning of this one? The meaning of this one is I move uh, minus 9 to the front, so I have y plus 9 equals to x plus 2 squared. The meaning of this, meaning the coordinate... of the bottom uh, to the correct curve is uh, x equals to minus 2 and y equals to minus 9 okay uh, to be exact the coordinate is minus 2 minus 9 okay so then we we have all the information about the parametric curve so now we just have to uh, sketch it. Alright, I have sketched the uh, empty axis. Okay, so now uh, we plot all the significant points. Alright, when y equals to 0, x equals to 1. So this is the x intercept. And then this is the second one. And then the bottom. Uh, minus 2, minus 9. So, somewhere here. Suppose somewhere here. Okay, so then we sketch the curve. Okay, we're done. So, this is the parametric curve. 
Okay, next we have to calculate the orientation. Orientation. Okay, since we play with the trigonometric, so I put t zero and the other one t pi per two. X y. Okay, when t equals zero, so the x just now, uh, we have to recall back the equation, the parametric equation. So here. So here, you have to check x equals to cosine 0, so 1. And then y, uh, 1 squared, uh, which is 1, plus 4, 5, minus 5, 0. And then how about pi per t? Cosine pi per t equals to 0. And then 0 times 0 minus 5, so y equals to 5. So this is the coordinate. So point the coordinate. Okay, so one zero is one zero somewhere here. This is the first point, and then zero minus five. Uh, one two three four five. This is the second point. So obviously the movement or the direction will be downward from the first point to the second point. So enough for you to do just one direction. Okay, so I hope you can do, uh, all the equation involving parametric equation after this.